Before we can think about this mechanism, we'll need to sort out what pyruvic acid is, and in particular what functional groups it has. So we'll start by drawing out the structure. We can see that it has a ketone group and a carboxylic acid group. Sodium borohydride is being used, so we should know that the reducing agent is the H- ion, which acts as a nucleophile using its lone pair. So the mechanism will be a nucleophilic addition. We should also know that sodium borohydride can reduce ketones and aldehydes to alcohols, but it's not a strong enough reducing agent to react with carboxylic acids, so it's only the ketone functional group here that's going to be involved in the reaction. The mechanism starts with the H- ion donating its two electrons to form a covalent bond to the electron-deficient carbon of the carbonyl group in the ketone. The C to O double bond is polar because oxygen is more electronegative than carbon. As the new bond forms to the carbon, the carbonyl double bond breaks heterolytically with the oxygen gaining both electrons from the pi bond to become O- in the intermediate. The intermediate can react with water. A lone pair on the O- is used to form a covalent bond to one of the delta positive hydrogens in a water molecule. As this new bond is formed, the H to O bond in the water molecule breaks heterolytically, leaving a hydroxide ion. So, the organic product is a secondary alcohol, still with a carboxylic acid group. We'd call this 2-hydroxypropanoic acid, but you probably know it better as lactic acid.